Hi everyone, it's Tara here with Create Life Paper Words and I'm working on a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout using my Willow Felicity Jane kit. This kit has some really amazing dark blues and soft corals in it, soft peaches. It's a really, really nice kit. I have almost used it all up actually at this point. So I decided to do, um, or I said decided to use the stencil to do a really nice background on this um, plain blue. And so now I'm just finding a backing card or a backing paper for my photo. When I printed all my photos that I'm working on for my family uh, traveler's notebooks, I've been working sort of all over the place but I printed off a couple extras of all those photos and knowing that I would want to do some really nice 12 by 12 scrapbook pages with them so I love this photo it's of my husband and our oldest she would be she's almost two in this photo and it's one of my favorites um, she is definitely a daddy's girl she always has been ever since she was little and I don't you just love when dads are just so enamored with their children um, that's how mine is he just absolutely loves loves his his baby so much which is I think how all dads should be um, so I love this photo of the two of them and I'm glad that I can finally do it justice and finally give it a really nice uh, layout to put it on so just still trying to decide what I'm doing with my layers. I really wanted that photo to pop, so I matted it first on a white, and then I matted it on a really dark blue, and I really feel that that contrast makes it pop even more. And then I decided to take some of the journaling cards and layer those behind. I had seen, I think it was Retro Hip Mama who had, uh, tore half of her card and I just loved how that looked so I decided to do the same and then I just felt I needed a little bit more of a layer. I always like to keep those bottom strips on the 12 by 12s. Um, they're really nice. I know some companies they only do half of this strip as a little bit of a pattern but with the Felicity Jane kit she always does um, a full strip on one side and then the other side uh, has the Felicity Jane logo on it so I really like that um, I get all a full 12 12 inch by half an inch extra to use of her gorgeous gorgeous designs just figuring out where I'm gonna put this label and all these uh, die cuts are now really nice and thick they're they're pre-cut and so they are on really 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 nice heavy paper and then just adhering everything down now that I finally have it how I want it to look. Really loving how the all the blues mix really nicely together and how the orange and orangey corals look really nice together with this. Something that I also love to do is to just do a little bit of a tear away um, on the bottom of or sometimes on the top but always on the sides of my 12 by 12 layouts. This time I decided to do two different layers for it. Usually I only do one, but I really like how these cards and these colors go, and I wanted to incorporate those colors right on the side there so you get that little, little tiny hint of everything. And I was having trouble because the paper is so heavy for the die cuts, I was having trouble adhering it with my normal um, adhesive so I had to reinforce it a little bit and then just deciding what I'm going to do for a title I'm horrible at titles um, yeah I, I just feel like I don't have any original titles and I'm always impressed when I see a good title that someone else has done so I decided to do hugs with dad and I love these puffy alphas I have almost used them all up they are really nice and I'm actually getting to the point where I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make um, what words I'm going to be able to make with the rest of the ones that I do have and then just wanted to add a little bit something else I decided to go with this love this chipboard and it's more like a, a speaking bubble type 
And I tend to not like those, so I just cut off the little, the little triangle part at the bottom. And always I have to have some form of stamping on my layout. I Stamping is what made me fall in love with scrapbooking in the first place. And if I don't have any stamping on a layout, it's, it's very odd for me. So I've just got this little tiny one and I'm just going to stick it down. Stick that die cut down. And then get my ruler out so that I can do just a tiny bit of journaling. And I believe what it says is something about this dad and his daughter or something like that. This dad loves his daughter, something like that. And I'm going to call it good. So here's the stills. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. You can always find me um, on Instagram at Create Life Paper Words. And as well, you can find me here on YouTube, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.